Welcome back to White Mare, a Doom 2 megawatt of 17 maps that I'm at least partially going to play through, uh, basically until it gets too hard, which it probably will sooner rather than later. Um, the gimmick of this map set, or the theme of this map set, is that it makes use of a lot of ice-based kind of textures. I think a lot of the maps were also originally speed mapped. Not all, but uh, quite a few. So is that... Um, so yeah, so once you come down, that's it. You can't go back to the start, but there wasn't really anything much at the start, so... So far, this this map feels kind of much more classically toned in its structure of the gameplay. It also feels a lot rougher visually. Um, the other map, I think, though, was probably profiting the, from the fact that it didn't do a whole lot of... Is that a secret? It's not quite aligned. Maybe just a monster closet, something that'll come out later. This is trying to do more variety of textures, which is probably going to cause increased difficulty in uh, making things look consistent. me then was it a uh, damaging floor sector maybe I like this this is a neat little progression point fairly simple obviously but not bad. Are we looping back now? Not my greatest bit of play there. That's a thing that might be useful to me. Yeah, it feels much more kind of traditionally structured in terms of its um, combat so far and probably might have been a better map one for that reason. So I assume that what actually happened was the flicking that other switch raised this. And brought us back here, so that was what that little indent was earlier. Uh. So this is going to be annoying because the monsters can see it.
presumably there are some keys somewhere. But yeah, I mean, who knows where. Yeah, that's a red keys required. I'm going to make use of the ammunition I've been given to clear off a lot of them. Okay, we're stuck there. There's one key. That's something, I guess. The lines of any other sectors, though, are not revealed on the map. So, still need to find the red key. We're just going to ignore the monsters while we look for it. Okay, that's the chain gun, that's the yellow key. That's the red door. I assume hopefully it's not a weird way of marking this is where you get the red key, because that would be frustrating. So I'm thinking it must be towards the middle of the map. Oh, there it is. to uh, operate with us over here. Seems like there's plenty of... Uh, an ammo dotted around the place. Those guys can continue to follow you, which is a good element. I can't just completely ignore them. somewhere. This is not ideal. Really?
Well, that went poorly. I don't actually know what the map wants me to do now. Key. That's what the map wanted me to do now. I don't know where the blue door is, mind you. I'm also not sure how does it intend me to get this by going this way. Okay, it does. Is that useful to me? I don't know. Just going back the way I came. Have I seen a blue door? Oh, blue door is back out the way I came. Fair enough. I mean, I guess it wants me to go back to the red, which is down here somewhere, I believe. to do that. Huh. I like that you could go over there, right. Happy New Year. <laughs> Thanks, map designer, for your best wishes. This appears to be the end of the map. Just see if there's a. Uh, okay, there's not a hot start, so we will pop ourselves here to start off next time. Uh, that was a much more classical kind of structured map, I felt, with escalating um, opposition rather than kind of throwing everything at you and just having you run around until you found the resources. Uh, I would have thought, yeah. If I'd been organising the map set, I'd probably have put it first, but maybe they wanted to put something with a, a much a more strong visual motif to it first. I don't know how they picked the order. Uh, I quite enjoyed that. I mean, it was a fairly straightforward romp. Not always the most intuitive of progression. Not a big fan of the room full of trees, which relies on you know the fact that monsters ignore things for shooting through. Um, and wouldn't work at all well if you were using a modern port and you had it set to treat things that look like they should be solid objects as solid objects. So in original DOS, Doom, none of the things like the big trees and the tech pillars, even though they were big and tall, were solid. They had a height of zero as far as Doom was concerned for checking whether projectiles could be blocked by them. Um, and so projectiles would fly through them easily, which I assume is how that room is intended to work, that you are under threat. Maybe it's not. Maybe the map designer was using a modern port where they had things set to block, um, in which case they wouldn't 
have experienced the same thing in that map that I had, which is that monsters you can't see are hurling fireballs at you from all over the place, and you might not see the fireballs until the last minute. Um, if you've got, obviously, the trees blocking fire, then it's only when you get those monsters up in your face that that will happen to you. Um, so yeah, very different play depending on how you've got your compatibility settings set. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I thought it was uh, reasonably good. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.